The purpose of this video is to show you how to use Zoom to do a screen capture to record your presentations. So first of all, you need the Zoom application downloaded onto your computer, and I have provided you in the instructions a link to the Zoom downloads. So now my Zoom application is open, and I am going to launch a new meeting by clicking here. And there we are. So um, this is the full Zoom control panel, and you can see it's asking if I want to join with computer audio, and yes, I do. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that. Let me make this full screen so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, um, first thing I want to make sure is my microphone. And so down here in the bottom left-hand corner where it says mute, there's a little arrow next to that. And when I click on the arrow, you can double check where your microphone is plugged into. So I'm using my system microphone, but maybe if you don't have a great system microphone, you might plug in a microphone or plug in a set of headset that has a microphone on it and use that instead. And here's where you select that. So now what we want to do is we want to do a screen share. And so I'm going to go down here to the bottom and you won't have quite as many options as I do because I've got a different kind of Zoom account than you probably do. But um, I'm going to click on the share screen button and it will give you, I don't know, depending on what you've got hooked into your computer, it might give you a lot of options. But I say always just go ahead and choose this first one, desktop one. Okay. If you're doing an Ignite presentation, you're probably good just going from here. But if you're doing a multimedia presentation where you need sound, where maybe you've got music or you've got audio clips or video clips, then see here in the bottom left-hand corner where it says share for sound or optimize video clip, you wanna make sure you check those boxes. Otherwise, we're not gonna hear the sound that you're hearing. Um, we're only like hearing it through your computer speakers and it sounds really crappy. So I'm gonna make sure I do that. And then the last step is this bottom right-hand corner that says share. So now all you have to do is pull up your presentation itself, which here is mine. All right, last step is we need to actually turn on the record function. So I'm gonna put this in the presentation mode, slideshow, um, play from the start. Okay, so your Zoom controls are now hidden up here at the top, but when you move your cursor over here, they'll come down. So I need to record this. So I'm going to go over to more and record to computer. And once I click on this, my dog's shaking in the background. Once I click on this, it's gonna start reporting to your computer. Um, finding the Zoom file is sometimes a little bit of a challenge after it's recorded. So what happens is you'll record it to the computer. Um, when you're done with it, let me go ahead and just click record so you can see this. I'm gonna click that. You don't really see anything happening here right now, but if I click on the more again, you'll see it pause recording or stop recording or options so that I know it's actually recording for me. And now I can just flip through my slides and, and narrate them and go through my whole presentation. When I'm done, I'm gonna say stop share. And now I can see up here in the upper left-hand corner, it's still recording, so I'm gonna click stop. And over here, I just got a pop-up that says it's gonna convert it to an MP4. So this won't happen until after you end the Zoom meeting, but you'll end the Zoom meeting, which I guess I can go ahead and do now. Meeting for all. And then you should get a pop-up here that it's converting your recording. Um, when it's done, this is a really short one. It's going to take longer for yours, probably because yours is long. It's going to open this up, and it gives me like three different files here. The MP4 file, the video file, is what you want. So you can save that to OneDrive, or you can upload that to YouTube and then share the YouTube link, whichever you're more comfortable with. So that's how you use Zoom to record a presentation. Hope that's helpful.